And here is the Writer's Almanac for Sunday, May the 24th, 2020. 1626 on this day, Peter Minuit bought the island of Manhattan from the Lenape Indians. He did not give them trinkets and beads, as the legend goes. He paid them in useful things, cloth, kettles, axe heads, drilling awls, worth about 60 silver Dutch guilders, which school children have been taught was worth about $24, but actually worked out to around $72, or the equivalent of about $1,000 today. Given the price of New York real estate nowadays, that represents about a 17 billion percent increase in value. In his history of New York City, George Lankovich maintains that Peter Minowit bought the island from the Canarsie Indians first. But they didn't live in Manhattan. They lived out on Long Island. And so he had to buy it over again from the Lenape. It's the birthday of William Trevor, the novelist and short story writer, born in Mitchellstown, Ireland, 1928. He was a teacher, then went to work for an ad agency in London, hated that, wrote some short stories, and finally wrote a satire of the school system called A Standard of Behavior. It came out in 19. 19- 58. It was successful, so he continued to write. Books such as The Boarding House, the story of Lucy Galt, The Day We Got Drunk on Cake. It's the birthday of the novelist Michael Shaban, born in Washington, D.C., 1963, grew up in Columbia, Maryland. He was in his mid-twenties, a graduate student in creative writing, University of California, Irvine. And for his master's thesis, he wrote a novel which became his first novel, The Mysteries of Pittsburgh, got rave reviews. He spent five years working on another novel, which just was not coming together. And one night, an entirely new story came into his head. He wrote 15 pages of it in one sitting. Two months later, he gave his wife more than 100 pages of it to read. She started laughing out loud, and so he knew that it was good. Finished it up in seven months, it was The Wonder Boys. He went on to write The Amazing Adventures of Cavalier and Clay which won the Pulitzer Prize in 2000. It's the birthday of the poet Joseph Brodsky, born in St. Petersburg, Russia, 1940. Started writing poetry as a teenager, became very popular when he was in his early 20s, which worried the authorities. His readings were attracting large crowds. He was interrogated, put in a mental institution, and then arrested on the charge of social parasitism. Sentenced to five years in a labor camp, so much protest around the world, his sentence was commuted. He was finally expelled from the Soviet Union in 1972. Went to Austria, then to Queens College in New York, then to Mount Holyoke. Was awarded the Nobel Prize in Literature in 1987 and died nine years later at the age of 55. Here's a poem for today by Lucy Shaw, Emergence. So the town grew, and they built us a new bridge over the stream, and later diverted the flow to an underground tunnel, like a long worm into which the city shoveled its leaves and garbage, slowing the current and turning it rank with mud and rats, murky, invisible. People forgot the old brook with its little fish and tadpoles and green reeds and its ripples conversing with the sun. Until last week, a great storm of rain and wind blew open our windows and our memories, and the water burst through and spread itself across the city in a great sheet and said, Remember me. A poem by Lucy Shaw, Emergence, from Eye of the Beholder, published by Paraclete Press and used by permission here on The Writer's Almanac. Be well, do good work, and keep in touch. <laughs>